supercomputers are at the forefront of technological advancement, pushing the boundaries of what is possible in terms of computational power and speed. These machines are used for a variety of tasks, from weather forecasting to scientific research, and their capabilities are continuously evolving. In this article, we will take a look at the seven most powerful supercomputers in the world right now. Point one. Summit Oak Ridge National Laboratory, USA Summit is currently the world's most powerful supercomputer, located at the Oak Ridge National Laboratory in Tennessee, USA. With a peak performance of 200 petaflops, Summit is capable of performing 200 quadrillion calculations per second. This supercomputer is used for a variety of tasks, including climate modeling, energy research, and artificial intelligence applications. 2. Sierra Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, USA Sierra is the second most powerful supercomputer in the world, located at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in California, USA. With a peak performance of 125 petaflops, Sierra is used primarily for nuclear weapons simulations and other national security applications. This supercomputer plays a crucial role in ensuring the safety and reliability of the U.S. nuclear arsenal. 3. Sunway Taihulite National Supercomputing Center China's Sunway Taihulite was once the world's most powerful supercomputer, located at the National Supercomputing Center in Wuxi, China. With a peak performance of 93 petaflops, Sunway Taihulite is still one of the most powerful supercomputers in the world. This machine is used for a wide range of scientific research, including climate modeling, advanced manufacturing, and drug discovery. Point 4. Tianhe 2, Milky Way 2, National Supercomputer Center, China Tianhe 2, also known as Milky Way 2, is the fourth most powerful supercomputer in the world, located at the National Supercomputer Center in Guangzhou, China. With a peak performance of 33.9 petaflops, Tianhe 2 is used for a variety of tasks, including weather forecasting, oil exploration, and scientific research. This supercomputer has been in operation since 2013 and continues to be a valuable resource for the Chinese scientific community. Point 5. Frontera Texas Advanced Computing Center, USA Frontera is the fifth most powerful supercomputer in the world, located at the Texas Advanced Computing Center in Austin, USA. With a peak performance of 23.5 petaflops, Frontera is used for a variety of research projects, including astrophysics, climate modeling, and engineering simulations. This supercomputer is a valuable resource for the U.S. scientific community and plays a crucial role in advancing research in a wide range of disciplines. Point 6. Pisdaint Swiss National Supercomputing Center, Switzerland Pisdaint is the sixth most powerful supercomputer in the world located at the Swiss National Supercomputing Center in Lugano, Switzerland. With a peak performance of 21.2 petaflops, PISDAINT is used for a variety of scientific research projects, including weather forecasting, materials science, and quantum physics simulations. This supercomputer is a valuable resource for the Swiss scientific community and is helping to advance research in a wide range of fields. Point seven. Trinity Los Alamos National Laboratory, USA Trinity is the seventh most powerful supercomputer in the world, located at the Los Alamos National Laboratory in New Mexico, USA. With a peak performance of 20.2 petaflops, Trinity is used primarily for nuclear weapons simulations and other national security applications. This supercomputer plays a crucial role in ensuring the safety and reliability of the U.S. nuclear arsenal and is a key resource for the U.S. Department of Energy. In conclusion, these seven supercomputers represent the cutting edge of computational power and are playing a crucial role in advancing scientific research and technological innovation around the world. As these machines continue to evolve and improve, we can expect even more exciting advancements in the field of supercomputing in the years to come.